What's up guys? <laughs> What's up guys, I'm Justin. Today I'm gonna show you how to use Audacity to record acoustic guitar, so uh, let's get into it. So the microphone I use is actually a pretty well-known one. It's the Blue Yeti USB microphone, and it sounds really good, and it's perfect for recording acoustic guitar. The guitar I'll be using is the Yamaha FG800, which for its price is actually a really good acoustic guitar. It has really good sound, and the construction is really good as well. So I have my guitar here, and uh, I have my microphone here. Usually I try to get it like as close as I can. And I try to aim the microphone around this area, um, which is the 12th fret. You don't want it in front of the hole directly because um, it gives off too much uh, power, I guess. I try to get within like, like around this distance, like about a foot between the microphone and, uh, and the guitar. And when everything's set, I just I just play. All right, so uh, let's play a simple chord progression. Alright, so we're in Audacity now, and this is the guitar progression that we just recorded. So I'll show you all the effects and stuff that I add to it to make it sound a lot better. So first of all, if you listen, oops, if you would let me click, okay, if you listen, there's noise there. So we want to get rid of much as that as possible, and we'll use the noise reduction effect, which is pretty pretty useful in audacity you select a little section of the um, of a quiet quiet part and then you select one of those regions noise reduction get noise profile and then that's the first part of uh, reducing the noise now you select the whole track you want to reduce the noise of effect noise reduction and then hit OK I, I usually don't mess with this so let's split this right here hitting control I because this is just my voice alright so okay yeah it's just my voice and then we want to focus on the guitar right here so the effect I'm gonna add first is bass and usually I have it around like 2.3 2.7 ish and then it makes the bass pop out a lot more afterwards I add reverb Usually I go for like 20 to 40, so let's hear that sounds. I think that's a little too much, so let's add like 25, I think that's good. You don't want too much reverb. Yeah, that sounds good. And then add a compressor. I don't mess with the settings that much. And then get that and then afterwards I think this is the last effect I add is normalize um, and that just basically normalizes it sorry just like that I can merge these two together all right so you can hear my voice and then here's the guitar final product let's see how this compares to the original original sound side by side That's gonna wrap it up for this video. If you guys liked it and enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe down below. I'm out, boys.